AMD Radeon RX 7700s times five benchmarks got leaked. Let's talk about it. This is Tech Track. Okay, so firstly, we have all the words the Twitter user just put at this. And if you look closely here, that's right, is it the 3D Mark Times 5 score? And if you look closely for the GPU they're using, it's the AMD Radeon RX 7700. Exactly. So, in overall score, we're getting 15,465. So, if you look into the GPU score, of course, this is the one. The 15,568, this is the, well, the AMD Radeon RX 7700 score we're looking at for the 3d mark time spy now if you look into some comparisons here for example if you use this amd radeon rx 6800 that was in terms of 3d mark time spy graphics score we're getting 16477 so it's quite close to that rx 6800 but not quite obviously when we look into the G nvidia geforce rtx 4060 ti 8 gigs we're looking at around 13460 so it's above the RTX 4060 Ti 8 gigs, of course, and below the Radeon RX 6800. And if you look into even the RTX 3070, the uh, Radeon RX 7700 is better than RTX 3070, which, again, not surprising because, you know, it's an uh, older generation. Wouldn't surprise me. Also, when we look into the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT, if we consider this the predecessor, of course, it is also uh, seems like that RX 7700 will be better because... The score is basically 15,568, assuming this is real. If not, then it's a bummer. But assuming this is real, it's underperforming compared to our 6800X, or just 6800. Obviously, our 6800XT is far superior for that, but it is underperforming compared to our RX 6800, better than the RTX 4060 Ti, and also the RX 6700XT. So we can assume something here that maybe, probably, that the Radeon RX 7700 would be better than the 6700 XT, should be also better than the RTX 4060 Ti. But what about RTX 4070? Well, that's where RTX 4070, we're looking at the 3D Mark Time Spy score of, as you can see, the 17,736. Well, obviously, it's way higher, definitely way higher. So, again, it really depends on which GPU you're using. Like, in some cases, like, for the RTX RX 6800, the score we're looking at is around the 16,477. In some cases, it could go down to 1,500. You know, it depends on which CPU or condition or the, even the GPU itself. So, assuming this is the, well, the standard here, comparing the RX 7700, it is obviously not as on par with the RTX 4070, which is very much obvious now that it is not. Look, according to the score, of course. So my guess would be that it's going to be performing better than the 6800, RX 6800, and worse than the 6800 XT, by far, obviously. Even worse than the RTX 4070, because it is the case, as you can tell right here, it's way below, I mean, not way below, it's like 15,500 something compared to 17,736. So obviously there's a gap here, around 2,000. Uh, score gap here so obviously it's not going to be performing as well as the rtx 4070 but it should perform like the rx 6800 it might perform like that which is in my opinion is not a bad deal you know like considering that RT rx 7700 is obviously you know as a predecessor uh, successor not the predecessor successor of the 6700 xt assuming that's the only card we got, the RX 7700, because that was the leak by uh, Moose Law's that that there will be only two SKUs from the Navi 32, and well, that is the case here, that the, the, the two uh, SKUs will be the RX 7800 and the RX 7700. Well, as you can see, for the first leak, we are getting the RX 7700. It should be performing around RX 6800, not XT, that's the non-XT one, which is obviously inferior, but it's not bad, you know, because it's basically offering, like, again, depends on the pricing, because if you remember quickly, the RX 6800 release price, well, the MSRP was 579 USDs, right? So, if we can get this card for around 400 to 450, which I know it's, like, uh, you're asking too much still, but... It is offering the similar performance only looking at this score. We can't really tell the whole picture, obviously, but it, it kind of gives you an idea that if we assume that it's going to perform compared to 6800 on par, then if, I, if we can get this card around 400, which I'm not sure that would be the case because, you know, 
it it should be it should be the case but we don't know it will be the case but if they can offer around 400 dollars to 450 i wouldn't go for 500 400 would be amazing deal in my opinion because like similar performance with performance compared to the 6800 and you're getting it for 400 dollars yeah i don't think that's a bad deal you know it could be better like if they can price it to 350 maybe that could be a better deal but I'm, i don't think they will so my guess would be 400 to 450 dollars if they want to sell this gpu the rx 7700 which still yet to be released but this leak kind of suggests something at least that it should be around that 6800 mark so i'm really hoping that the gpu gets more coverage because of that because don't forget it also has 12 gigs of vram exactly it will be coming with 12 gigs of vram and it will be offering the similar to 6800 assuming that this leak is correct obviously then we might be seeing a good gpu coming uh, release from amd here not sure though because it always depends on the pricing if the price is like 500 dollars i don't think it will sell or would get the traction well i'm guessing 400 to 450 that is the ultimate best deal i can give it for rx 7700 otherwise there's not so much chance for this gpu to get the success because they need to get in the competition you know and for that i believe nvidia or not nvidia amd needs to put this pricing around 400 for 50 because like you cannot really price 500 dollars because the msrp for the 6800 was 579 so you're telling me that i have to pay 80 dollar only 80 dollar less to get the similar performance of the 6800 i don't think that's a good fair deal because it's a one generational leap though this generation kind of sucks anyway because the rtx 4060 ti 4060 7600 they were complete failure failure or even the rtx 4070 they were not really good either you know assuming that if we're comparing the rtx 4070 if we can if amd are com considering the competitor of the rtx 4070 to be the rx 7700 then the pricing needs to go down really needs to go down 500 dollars i don't think would cut it absolutely not so i am my guess my best deal would be 400 to 450 don't know if amd will take it but we'll see about that other than that i feel like this score is not bad compared to what we've seen already from, from the both amd and uh, nvidia this score seems to be legit could be who knows but if that is the case and if they price the card correctly to around 400 to 450 i think that that's a good deal honestly